in the opening battle of the televised card. Um, NABF junior middleweight champion Willie the Great Nelson, 21 and 1, with 12 KOs, squares off against Luciano Cuello, 32 and 2, with 16 KOs. Luciano's only two losses were to Canelo Alvarez in a very hotly disputed close decision, actually a controversial decision, with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Um, the, the middle bout, the co featured bout, features a young man that I think is a future star, um, Thomas. Wies Tyson of South Africa, um, Tommy Gunn. Uh, Tommy is a terrific fighter, power, boxing ability, speed, everything you could ask for. And he's in with Brandon Gonzalez, an undefeated uh, fighter in his own right, promoted by promoted by Goose and Tua Promotions with a record of 17 and 0. So somebody you know is going to take a huge step forward in that fight, establish themselves as a, as an up and coming star, and someone's going to take a big step back. And then the main event. If you were going to ask anyone in the world to name the top five middleweights in the world, uh, both of these gentlemen's names would appear. Um, the WBA champion, Gennady Golovkin, um, he's already been ordained by a lot of people as the, the second coming. We and Team Macklin think he has to prove it, and uh, we don't think he's going to be able to walk through that fire on Saturday night, but if he does, um, then he's going to earn his stripes. And uh, Matt Macklin should already be a world champion. He beat Felix Sturm. Um, clearly and decisively, uh, he gave he gave Sergio Martinez hell. Um, was ahead in the fight through the middle rounds and just simply uh, couldn't catch up to a more elusive man later and got caught later in, a, in, in the fight. But it was a terrific, terrific performance in a sold out theater at Madison Square Garden. Give credit where it's due. The whole world has run away from this guy, except for this man. And my salute goes to Matt Macklin for that. Great team with him. Um, guy who uh, looks like a friggin' leprechaun. He's been around <laughs> boxing forever. Um, he's uh, he's been the leading figure in Irish boxing for a long time, um, and he's been a pleasure to work with. With Matt, um, Brian Peters. Thank you, Lou. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for attending here today. You know, Gennady certainly is getting the, I think since JC came on the planet, no one's got quite the kind of build-up of this man is getting. So whether he's Superman, Man of Steel, we're not so sure. But one thing we're certainly sure of is Matthew Macklin, Matthew Macklin will take him to places that he's never been. He will hit him more than he's ever got hit. He will hit him harder than he's ever got hit. So Mr. Sanchez, and have your work cut out. When he goes back to that corner, he'll go through experiences Saturday night that he's never experienced. Matthew Macklin has been there and he's come back out of it. We're very much looking forward to it. I'd like to thank HBO for the opportunity. I'd like to thank the champ, Gennady, Tom Loeffler, for this opportunity. And I'd like to thank Lou DeBella and all his team. Thank you very much. It's refreshing to be in a promotion where everybody actually respects one another. No one bagged anyone's girlfriend, nothing like that. <laughs> but Tom, 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 Tom and I have worked together for many, many years. We go back to my HBO days when, when he was involved with the Klitschko's and, and the Klitschko's were staple on HBO. No, when you're still involved with them, it's just the HBO's not. Well, actually, maybe they will be going, coming going forward. Um, you know, Gennady's a class act and, and Abel, one of the great trainers in the box, and it's always a pleasure to see you there. Um, and a new friend, Max Herman, who I just met, but, but this is, the people on this side of the table are class people, the people on this side of the table are class people, and it's just nice to be involved in an event that's this competitive where there's this much at stake, and nobody's shitting on anybody. So, for that, I thank everyone. Um, I want to bring up, a, speaking of staples, a guy who's been a part of the New York boxing scene forever, he lives in Florida. A lot of the time now, he's really a friggin' New Yorker, and he knows it. Um, James Buddy McGurk. And, and he's wearing a man purse, and I hope somebody calls him a task for that. It's called the Merce. <laughs> um, I'm moving back to Jersey, so I'm coming home. Come on, come on. You know, <clears throat> good afternoon. 
It's amazing. You get a fighter and you say, I want a fighter that wants to fight everybody. This fucking man, man, it's like, they call me to fight Martinez. Shit. We're fighting our scene. Shit. I stopped, I stopped answering Brian Peters' call. Then he called me and says, we're fighting Golovkin. I'm like, you can't get an easy fight, man. <laughs> just once, can we just train for an easy fight? But I would like to say that uh, to Mr. Golovkin, thank you for giving uh, you know, uh, Matthew the opportunity. Um, I think it's a great fight for HBO and for boxing. Something that boxing really needs, the best fighting the best. You know what I mean? And um, I think it's great for the sport. And um, people ask me, buddy, what is your game plan? What are you going to do? What are you going to do different? When you fight a guy that punches like this guy, from what I've seen, you guys got to keep it basic, you know? Hands up, chin down, and your ass off the ground, and you're out of the game. You know what I mean? But this is a fight that's going to come down to nuts and guts. I mean, that's what I feel. You know, it's going to come on the nuts and guts. And I just think it's going to be a great fight. And uh, I just want to say thank you all. I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you, and God bless. You know, this isn't a Don King press conference. We're going to finish it about a third of the average time that Don did. Um, I'm going to bring up now my partner in this promotion, Tom Loeffler, to introduce the trainer and manager of United Golf. Thanks, Lou. Just want to reiterate, it is nice doing a promotion where everyone gets along. I actually did think Brian Peters was a left gun. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, but Brian's a great guy, terrific guy. Um, I've known Lou for a long time. I know Buddy McGirt since uh, when I was managing Kevin Kelly, and he was a welterweight champion, and Kevin was fighting on his undercard at the Garden, so we go way back as well. Um, but he's also been to Germany uh, for one of the Klitschko fights. And, uh, it's a, it's a class act, uh, the whole Macklin side. Um, I want to start out with uh, thanking HBO, uh, especially Peter Nelson, the entire team at HBO, but uh, Peter was very instrumental in, uh, in putting this fight together. Um, without the support of HBO, uh, this fight clearly wouldn't have happened. They wanted to put together the best possible fight right now for, for Gennady, and, and clearly with the respect that, that, Matt, that Matthew has, and who he's fought in his career, there, there's no better uh, fighter that they could have uh, gotten. So with that, before I get into the introductions, I want to just uh, present Peter with a, a small memento. This is actually uh, a piece of art by Richard Sloan, and it has both uh, Gennady and Matthew on it, and it has the HBO logo on it. So I just wanted to give the first, uh, the first piece to, uh, to Peter Nelson. over my bed. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a great team, also his brother uh, Ole Herman. Uh, it's been a great team in terms of not only building Gennady here in the United States, but also internationally. I'd also like to recognize Rodney Berman, who promoted the last show that Gennady was on when he knocked out uh, Ishida, even though Luke kind of dismissed Ishida a little bit. I think, uh, I think, uh, uh, personally not that well. Kirkland. Yeah, James Kirkland. I, I think, Miss Kirkland, I too, think so. uh, Kirkland thought uh, Ishida was a pretty good fighter when he got knocked out by him. But uh, And uh, Rosado, even though he was coming out from Juno Manoway, he was actually physically favored than uh, Gennady. But again, it's only against somebody like Matthew Macklin's caliber that uh, Gennady will get the credit that he deserves. So with that, I'd like to bring up um, Gennady's trainer, Abel Sanchez. Thank you. Noon. You know, when he uh, asked me about this fight, uh, the first thing that I uh, thought about was it's the first time that I get to match wits with a uh, buddy who's a great trainer. Uh, that's, uh, in my mind, Matthew's uh, biggest asset. You got uh, a calming influence in the corner, a calming influence in the gym, and I think it's going to be a difficult fight because of that. But I want to thank the Batman team to finally have somebody that stands in front of Gennady so Gennady can show exactly what, it, what he's all about. I'm looking for a tough fight, but I'm also looking for a short fight. I think it's going to be exciting for as long as it lasts. So thank you very much. Beware what you wish for. <laughs> that note, 
the next WBA world champion of the world, Matt Capasco. I back on. Um, just want to thank everyone involved in making the fight. Uh, you know, HBO, Peter Nelson, uh, Lou, everyone at the Bella Entertainment, um, Tom, everyone at K2, and you know, giving the opportunity uh, on Sky Sports, which will be televised in the live back in the UK and Ireland. Um, yeah, I just want to thank my team, Buddy, Brian, Dan, Peter, Tom, Matt, and um, my brother Seamus, who was a massive help out in Spain in the first part of the camp, uh, to Maswell. Uh, I'd say Ludo Bell and everyone at the Bell Entertainment and all my family and friends who have had the journey over and have supported me throughout my career. Um, third time fighting for the world title. You know, I was unlucky against uh, you know, Sergio, gave him a good fight, but he you know, he proved the champion he was and in the end he was the better man of the night. Um, do feel I'm a better fight now though for those two experiences. Um, bounced back with a strong win against uh, Alcine in September. Um, but you know, this is the, the biggest, the toughest fights, the hardest challenges of all, but the best out of me. And um, you know, I think, I think this the, um, the fight with Gennady is going to highlight that more than ever. Um, he's hyped up. He's 26 and 0, 23 knockouts in the biggest knockout ratio in any of the world champions in boxing at the moment. But um, you know, he really hasn't, without no disrespect to the guys he's fought, but he really hasn't fought anyone. Certainly not my caliber. And you know, you struggle to say anyone that was a world class middleweight. Um, you know, the amateurs are the amateurs, these are the professionals. You know, he was winning world championships when I was having 12 round wars. So I'm a lot longer in the two, and uh, a lot more seasoned, a lot harder, and a lot more proven. And, uh, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And uh, it's going to be a tough fight on Saturday night. But there will be a new middleweight champion of the world leading that ring. Again, a lot of respect to Matthew Macklin. I, I will agree with the point that um, he is the toughest fight that uh, or that Gennady's had in the ring. Certainly, the most respected uh, person that's challenged uh, Gennady. Um, we feel confident to Gennady's ability. He's one of the hardest working guys I've ever been around, and I've been some, around some hard working guys with both the Klitschko brothers. They train really hard, and uh, Gennady in the gym, you know, under the, the guidance of Abel. So. Without uh, going on further, I'd like to bring up uh, Gennady. This is actually the fourth language he speaks, so you have to forgive him. He's really made a concerted effort to improve his English. He speaks uh, Russian, Kazakh, German, and now he's uh, definitely improving his English. So he's going to hold a press conference in English, and if there's any questions that he might not understand, uh, Max will uh, you know, translate for him. So I wanted to bring up the IBA, uh, sorry, IBO, WBA, uh, middleweight champion, Gennady Golovkin. Good afternoon, everybody. Good to see you, everybody. You know, very close. Very close time for big day. Thank you very much for HBO special for Nelson uh, for Matthew T. I think it's a great fight for us, you know, just uh, because no, okay, right now I'm champion. Yeah, very, very important for middleweight this fight. I think because I'm champion, but now Matthew is my best opponent. For me. The best challenger for me right now. I understand the situation, very serious situation right now. Just, just for me, you know, this fight is who is who, just who is the best. I'm thinking. Great fight. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this time we're going to start.